my channel. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I know that I haven't been posting a whole lot of videos lately. I have been slammed with my new job and my pile is like, it's pretty high. I have about seven or eight unboxing videos to do for you guys. So I'm super excited because I'm going to start this month's unboxings with Loot Crate. Super excited. If you're unfamiliar with Loot Crate, it is a monthly subscription box that sends you geeky, gamer, fun, geek stuff. Um, they have a theme every month, and this month's theme is play, uh, or let's play. And I am super excited about this box. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, and on the inside, this is pretty cool, the inside looks like a game board. It says, Crate Packing Simulator 2015, and it's got the game board on here, and super excited. So it looks like it might be an actual game board that you can take the box apart and, oh yes, on the inside, it says pull this tab to lay the crate flat and play our original board game, Crate Packing Simulator 2015. That is super cool. I have to say with Loot Crate, I absolutely love the fact that not only do you get a box full of awesome things. You get a box that's actually usable. I know a lot of us who get the subscription boxes have been collecting all of these boxes from all the subs. And Loot Crate is the only one that actually makes the box one of the amazing included uh, products. So you get to actually use the box. So this is, I love that fact. So, uh, let's see, first thing we have is, I'm gonna put my box down so I can easily grab things and show you. Um, we have Money World, Mini Money, uh, Create Your Own Vinyl Art Toy, includes three wipe off markers. Oh my God, so I collect Dunnies, uh, Monies, and all those little vinyl figurines. I'm sure you've seen in my previous videos and things like that, all of my little collectibles. Love, love, love these guys. So this is one where you can completely customize it yourself. And it comes with all the stuff you need, just markers in the money. And then here is little examples of cool things you can do. And this is a little easy doodle. I mean, how cute is that? And they wipe off. So you can design it, completely wipe it off, and redo it again. And what's great is, if you're not familiar with Dunnies or Monies, um, they have these little hands that, let me give you a shot. They have these little hands. You see the little hands? You can actually make things for them to hold, like a samurai sword or a little pot of flowers or something like that. Um, a lot of the uh, collectibles like this usually come with a little prop that they hold in their hands. So, I mean, you can do pretty much anything. Paper mache this, and you can make like huge ornament, you know, headpieces and stuff like that. Totally customizable, so it's not just drawn and erased, drawn and erased. You can completely customize these guys. So, that is really awesome. Super excited to decorate my own and put it up on my shelf. Next thing we have is... Uh, Hexbug, original micro robotic creature. And it is this really cool beetle. And it is a little robot. And I have one similar to this. It's a lot smaller. It's a little, like, it looks like a little pill bug. And it has a switch. It vibrates. And then it moves across the floor. I put them on the tile and my cats go crazy. So super excited to have this one because this is one of the higher end ones. They have huge ones now too. Um, but this is one of the more expensive than my little pill bug one. Um, not sure the retail price might be in the magazine. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but super duper excited to put this little guy on the floor and watch my cats go crazy. Maybe I'll tie a little string to the back. I'll video, if I do that, I'll video it. I will totally video it and I will I would post that up here. So got this adorable hex bug, super excited. Next thing we have is Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. If you're unfamiliar with Super Fight, this is what the box looks like. It is similar to Cards Against Humanity. If you're familiar with that, you're, you'd understand what this is. Um, 
it's a card game where basically you have specific cards and then the other players have specific cards and there's usually like a question and you fill in the blanks um with cards against humanity you fill in the blanks with whatever cards and whatever the funniest one is they win um with super fight it's different you have people and then they have people and you try to pick who would win in a fight and arguments will ensue because it's a hot topic when you talk about Batman versus Superman and who's going to win. Batman fans give all those pros and cons. Superman gives all those pros and cons. But it's just the fun of thinking and going outside of the box and, you know, stuff like that. So Super Fight is a really fun game. I have not played it yet, but this is an exclusive deck to Loot Crate. So if you play Super Fight and you're obsessed and you don't get Loot Crate, you totally missed out on this and you'll have to find a looter that is not going to use it, which I highly doubt you're going to find because this is pretty awesome. So really excited about that. Can't wait to play this with my husband. Next thing we have is I see a photograph of Firefly online and I love Firefly. So sad they canceled it. Bring Firefly back, seriously. Okay, now that my little, you know, BF is done. Um, so this is a code to get Firefly online for free. Awesome sauce. Super excited. So Firefly online for free in this box this month. Excellent. We have a, what looks like a poster. It's in this little... Uh, white diamond shaped beads cardboard tubey thing and oh that is really cool it is a blueprint of the pac-man game how cool is that here I'll give you a close-up so you have the screen in the base there's the game and it looks like it's the original tabletop game like the ones you guys remember Pizza Hut back in the day when they, yeah, you actually ate in Pizza Hut and they had the huge uh, Pac-Man machine in the middle. That's, that's, that's uh, this is a blueprint to that machine. Super cool, very retro, love it. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this though because I'm kinda out of room on my wall. So, awesome! Next thing we have is a novel, or it's a book. I don't know if it's a novel, let's see. Oh, there's a page bent. <gasps> No, OCD, there's a page bend. Okay, um, this is a really cool looking book. It's called Ready Player One. And if you're a video gamer, I highly suggest you try this book because it looks really cool. Haven't read it yet, obviously. Um, let's read the little synopsis on the back, shall we? In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted to his devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on the creator's obsession with the pop culture of decades past and that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take this this ultimate prize, the race is on. And if Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. So, sounds like this gamer kid gets sucked into a video game in the year 2044. Which isn't that far away, guys. This is kind of creepy. Um, but... Sounds like a book that I and my husband will love. Uh, it's a pretty long book. I mean, that is, that's a pretty thick book. Let's see how many pages it has. 372. 372. So, yes, this is Ready Player One, and the author is Ernest Klein. If this sounds like a book that you might be interested in, I'm sure you can get this on Amazon. Um, but... This is, this is going to be a good read, and I'll probably do a blog review on this book because it is a really cool book. So, um, it looks like last but not least, we have our button, and there's a little black bag. Um, let me save these for last. Okay, so we have our button, Loot Crate's February 2015 play theme, 
This is a really cool button. It's like a Loot Crate Monopoly design and it's gonna go on my lanyard, which Loot Crate, we need another lanyard. I'm running out of room for my buttons. I put all my buttons on the Aperture Science lanyard that I've got in I think my first box and I'm running out of room. Please send another lanyard or something we can put our awesome collectible pins on. That would be cool. Okay, so it looks like the last thing we have is related to the box itself. We have a black bag with these awesome Loot Crate dice. How cool are these? These are really neat. Cool, so awesome. So that comes in this cute little bag. And we also have the instructions on how to play the game. Here's the instructions on how to play the Loot Crate game, which is the box, you take the box apart. And your player pieces, here's your magazine, your player pieces are on the very last page. You have your tokens and your player pieces. And then of course you have the whole magazine to read, which has information about what's in the crate. It has little articles. It has photos of past looters from the last box, all, you know, picked by Loot Crate and featured, which are really cool. And what else is in here? We also have the Mega Crate, which if you're a Loot Crate subscriber, you could win this awesome crate this month. Yay! Each month there's a different Mega Crate that you can win and you just have to be a subscriber to Loot Crate. So pretty cool. Absolutely love this box. This is a super fun box that I'm going to have a blast playing all these games and reading the book and playing the Loot Crate Crate Simulator game. Oh my god, that's going to be so cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Loot Crate unboxing. If you're interested in subscribing, I will put all the information down below where you can subscribe, how much it is, all that jazz, as well as all of my social networking. If you want to follow me and check out my blog, I will have all that down below. And all, of course, all of my referral links if you're interested in a different box or what have you. Um, everything will always be down in the, in the description box down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.